good morning to all in 2021 that is march i all of a sudden uh, was diagnosed with uh, non hodgkin lymphoma so that's a b b cell cancer so blood cancer it comes under and at that particular time i was totally shattered uh, for the simple reason is that i am 34 and i have got blood cancer and uh, looking at the scenario all across india or on all world covid it was very difficult for me to get the medical attention i required at that particular time in march when i was diagnosed uh, it took time for me to do certain tests so in the month of april when i got my reports so i was on the fourth stage of cancer so that was almost say i had very less time what i was thinking is that it's all over so as i approached doctors uh, they all told me that it's fourth stage and very well uh i sort of got into a sort of depression saying that you know now i won't get cured so when my treatment started in june that's the time when uh, sister simitra got in touch with me she started sharing the word of hope i was totally confused in the sense is that okay now the treatment is going on now let's see what's going to happen next in the month of june i did not bother much about keeping in touch uh, with sister simitra so i was totally concentrating on chemo so as the chemo started and it started getting more intense so my regime was around 6 chemo it was affecting the the immune system of the body so i used to get very weak the first chemo got over again the second chemo got over now something very different happened soon after taking the third chemo i realized that i have got covid with pneumonia and this just happened overnight uh, so i was rushed to the government hospital really i could hardly be there and they had administered me oxygen so i remained for around 7 8 days in the hospital when i was sent back i had my my days for my next chemo had already approached so now it was a two way sword either you do chemo or you get rid of your covid so that's the time when i did not get any much help from the medical side now the only the only thing what is before you is actually is jesus because i kept faith in say in the doctors i kept faith in the medical fraternity but now every that that nobody can help me out so i said now let me put faith into jesus that's the time sister simitra she helped me out and showed me the way towards how do i actually get access to jesus and that's the time i realized yes i need to keep faith in jesus because this is the way forward for me and that's the time i started she started sending me many th- many things verses from the bible say psalms 91 uh which helped me out a lot i took the fourth chemo again i got covid this time it was very bad my whole lung was filled with haze so you could not do anything about it and i was again sent uh, to the government hospital but this time i was not frightened because she even told me that you know you need to talk to jesus i continuously kept on doing that i was hardly bothered of what was happening around me my faith grew in grew with jesus now fear and faith they are more similar to each other because you know once you get fear you will forget faith so you either you take faith with you and that's the thing what helped me out with it now you're keeping faith in the doctor that is treating you okay so what i what is my saying is that you keep faith with jesus and jesus is going to take care of the whole thing so you chose to stick to the scripture promises to your faith and not open the door to the enemy because the enemy will come but whether you allow the enemy to to take a foothold in your life is your decision when you have faith in you when you have the faith of the son of god when you have the faith of jesus fear is under your feet before i could go in for for the fifth chemo i got the third time covid and this time it did not spare me this time i did not have my wbcs count i was running on zero so uh, so every cancer patient will will basically know what i am trying to uh, tell you all is that i have no defense uh, with myself that is in my body and uh, i was again admitted and this time it was so bad that uh, no medicines worked i was supposed to be shifted to another ward and uh, it is just you are left basically uh in the faith of god and uh, you are just on oxygen you cannot move so that's the time uh, where my faith started growing more stronger into it and every time simitra used to sister simitra used to remind me 
that you know mountains melt like wax in the presence of the of of, of the lord that is psalms 97 you know i just kept on uh, seeing these uh, verses and even psalms 91 that whoever dwells in the shelter of the most high will rest in the shadows of the almighty to tell you the fact is that to, to my right and to my left there were people just dying out of you know lack of oxygen you know, they were breathless it's very difficult at that particular time to keep your mind very calm but i did not lose hope i said jesus will definitely not do this thing to me and he is taking care of me for some 15 days uh my white blood cells have still not climbed i am still running on say zero and uh, i am just getting infected and infected that was a thing where i decided that let's move out let's go home and let my doctor see to me and then i went home i got admitted in another hospital within 7 days i got cured i did a pet scan then i am absolutely clean that is there is no traces of cancer i happily go for my fifth and my sixth chemo and uh, i am normal i am i just went for a pet scan in uh, uh, say january 3 uh, again i am normal i i have no traces of cancer even if on the part of the covid i breathe normally i go to work now i don't use any medicines i don't i am just free of everything is the only thing is that uh, i'm just uh, blessed by jesus i do all my work i can climb floors i can do everything so it's just like a miracle which has happened two months i was on the death bed and now i'm just normal you have to have confidence in jesus then only you can derive that strength from jesus say i pick up a verse say of mark 16 uh, if believers drink the deadly poison it will not harm them so you know this is the same thing you got to do with chemo or you or your treatment towards uh, covid chemo also is deadly poison i am perfect when you are with jesus you are in the noah's ark so you are totally safe from everything and these stages of first stage second stage you know third stage fourth stage i realize is that this is just categorizing it for a medical practitioner for him to decide what it's not for you i was diagnosed with four, with the fourth stage you know that fourth stage is like a last stage and now look at me within a month what i what are you seeing is that is that i am totally cured from cancer so if somebody would say fourth stage would be the last stage i should have been dead by now but but actually it's not so because you are staging yourself that is for your doctor to decide you concentrate on your faith with jesus and once you get that connection with jesus you are done you are going to get cured so do not be overwhelmed when you have the diagnosis pointing to a particular stage do not make up your conclusions let that report what is given which we call it as a fact report whatever the doctor gives you we do not say that the doctor is telling you a lie he is giving you a as is assessment report of your body based upon the diagnostic tools that are available but it is for you to leave that report to the doctor's discretion the doctors are also given wisdom by god and that's what sirach uh, chapter 38 verses 1 and 2 says uh, we used to pray isaiah 11 verses 2 i have been using this to pray with uh, most of the cancellations the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the lord we are speaking the promises of god over the decision making process of the doctor praise god quick question brother lazarus what was the the, the duration of the journey yeah i am counting 8 months uh 6 months of chemo and uh, you could say the remaining months of covid but your journey of faith began when 5 months Five. back wow that's awesome brother praise <laughs> jesus i believe it is changing lives strongholds are destroyed as they listen to you and they are all set free for that time frame you know everyone everyone keeps thinking you know it will take time it will take time but brother lazarus has proved no it's you your relationship and how much effort you're going to put in that relationship and it's amazing thank you lord 